A Story was my last year student film, my last year at CalArts, and it was my irreverent commentary on Saturday morning cartoon viewing in a weird, morbid homage to H.R. Puffin stuff. My first idea that started it was what ended up in the short, which was you wishing you could go into that land with H.R. Puffin stuff and him pulling you through and somebody not thinking about that there's glass on the front of the TV set. And that's going to be a little bit of an impediment to that whole magical process. I think even then I had such a distaste for the words imagination and magic. And I've only soured that much more for those two words being used with animation. <laughs> the whole killer clown thing was just kind of starting to go. It seems kind of commonplace now, but it wasn't at the time in the, in the, in the mid-early 80s. Even that movie Attack of the Killer Clowns hadn't come out yet. So it seemed fresh to have this band of clowns that were really dangerous. I think the whole thing just tried to sort of sit in this world that seemed kind of familiar, of just youth and TV and animation. This sounds weird because I'm not known for this, but I was very lazy in school. I was big on sort of showing up the last minute and working all night. But I was in such a talented class. I really took advantage of the group mentality of the class that I was in. I loved brainstorming with them, loved coming up with the gags. So I never felt like I was in isolation making that film. I always feel like that was somewhat of a, a product of the wonderful, crazy circus college environment. I just loved that everything went through that filter, whether it was my project or that I got involved on their projects. And uh, a lot of that has stayed in the getting to be around the formative years of building Pixar from a small group to a studio is, is that sort of group mentality. It's a team sport. I honestly consider my classmates were, were one of the tools to use to make your film. Don't lose connections or burn bridges with any of your college classmates because you will end up either hiring them or working for them someday. So uh, that's a good lesson. <laughs>
cream. like only a miracle could save our heroes. But there are no such things as miracles. So Randy became king and died at the age of 108, a very rich man. The end.